Hi everyone, welcome back to Fertility Friday, our educational video series on infertility related topics. Last time we talked about the initial infertility workup, including ovarian reserve testing and the HSG, and today we'll talk about the semen analysis. A semen analysis is one of the main components of an infertility evaluation. This will help us determine if a male factor may be contributing to infertility. A semen analysis is usually collected after two to five days of abstinence from intercourse. Men can collect the sperm either in a private room in the office, which is ideal, or the man can choose to collect at home. If he collects at home, the specimen should be kept warm at room or body temperature during transport and brought into the office within one hour of collection. There are four main parameters that we assess for in a semen analysis. Volume, concentration, motility, or how well the sperm is moving, or morphology, the shape of the sperm. The current World Health Organization definitions of normal parameters are volume greater than 1.5 milliliters, concentration greater than 15 million sperm per ml, motility greater than 40%, and morphology greater than 4%. The total modal sperm count is another parameter we evaluate. It is derived by multiplying the volume, concentration, and motility together. This number correlates with the probability of conceiving from a treatment called intrauterine insemination, or IUI. The best results would be achieved with an IUI when the total modal sperm count is more than 10 million sperm. Here, we see a comparison of normal concentration and low concentration. Certain medical problems such as blocked ducts, a low testosterone level, or conditions in which the sperm backs up into the bladder may cause a low sperm count. Next, we see a comparison of normal motility and low motility. A low motility may reduce the chances of the sperm reaching the egg. A low sperm motility suggests dysfunctions in the testes or epididymis. Lastly, here is a comparison of normal morphology and low morphology. Morphology refers to the shape of the sperm. The sperm is made up of three regions. A normal sperm has an oval head, a slender midsection, and a tail that moves in a wave-like motion. Abnormal shape of the sperm can be due to abnormalities in the head, the midsection, or the tail, such as coiled tails or duplicate tails. Sperm that have an abnormal shape may not have the ability to penetrate or fertilize the egg. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, give us a like, comment below. You can always follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube under the handle Anuk Heather Racing MD. Thanks again and see you next time.